For widespread adoption, technology must be universally accessible. Hear how Xerox CTO Naresh Shankar thinks society can accelerate technology into markets in the future. What, what's on your mind in terms of like the next innovation or the next possibility for what you want to take advantage of, whether it's around cloud or AI? What, what's next for you when you think about that? One of the biggest challenges that we, at least I see us facing is um, designing a whole digital monetized uh, economy, you know, um, and, um, and, and that's going to be interesting because you want to be able to transact um, in currency, which is going to be pervasive and uh, universal. And, um, and so how do you remove the barriers to be able to transact universally? in um in uh, from global to region to country and um and how do we simplify those interactions whether it's to impact business or even society or even climate i mean it's has massive implications globally but we don't have 10 20 and 50 years to wait we've got to solve these problems now which means we have to give you know be able to do you know execute universally and uh, allow access universally that's, that's, I think, going to be some of the single biggest hurdles in terms of how we get this technology to be ubiquitous. And then, how do you fund it financially and globally, right? I mean, uh, it's public sector funding, private sector funding, all these different, there's a lot of money in the system, but how do you gain access to capital to actually help accelerate these businesses to solve these problems very, very rapidly? It's going to be a huge challenge. And, um, and so, uh, most of what we do, has uh, very significant implications in the public sector. Yeah, no, uh, when you take when you look at these things universally, so it's a combination of bringing the private sector and the public sector together, getting access to capital to be able to accelerate these technologies, and um, and patience and speed is something we've got to solve for, and um, and and we've got to figure out here and now, and then how do you get the monetization to track to us? You know, I mean, whether it's investing or even the returns, how do you actually be able to do this? Because it's all new, getting into climate is new. You know, uh, 3D additive manufacturing, it's a very nascent industry to disrupt supply chains and manufacturing. You pick the industries we're going into, right? It's very nascent. So uh, we're gonna to have to develop the infrastructures to be able to consume. So you've shared so much with us, Naresh, in regards to just not only some insight to you as a leader, you as a person, the way that you approach you know, it's almost, I think, of, you know, the evolution of artificial intelligence and robots. It's like the show your work. What's happening in terms of the approach or the way you construct these businesses? You know, and we don't always see that, right? We see the result of the businesses. We see the result of the technology. And that's what's so fascinating to spend time with you today is how do you think about these businesses? How are you approaching them? How are you thinking about the experience in mind that you want to create for customers and employees and then the customers of the customers that Xerox serves? So thanks for sharing a little bit about what's in your head and spending some time with us today. And we really look forward to seeing what's next for Xerox and for you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And um, it's been quite a journey. And I want to actually take the opportunity to thank the Oracle team. Um, it's been a great collaboration and um, it's been probably two years in the making since, uh, or even three years in the making since we got here. And um, the Oracle team has been an instrumental part of our journey. So I appreciate all the support uh, you guys give us. And uh, thank you very much. We, we feel it's an honor to be a partner with you in the journey. Watch the full Xerox episode and learn more by visiting the link in the description. We welcome you to connect with us on the page to start your business on the digital journey with Oracle Cloud. Be on the lookout for the next Oracle Customer Spotlight. You never know which company we'll shine a light on next.